It all started at secondary school. I remember walking down the halls of my music block. In one of the practice rooms at the end of the hallway was a drummer absolutely destroying the drum kit. And I realized that's exactly what I wanted to do. The rest is history, really. I didn't know I wanted to be a musician, but I knew this is not going to stop. I didn't have a drum kit at the time. I started buying like donuts, crisps and drink and wait until after PE when everyone was like dehydrated. And I made about three, four hundred quid. Supply and demand, did it? People are thirsty, I have drinks. In the break times, I get into the music block and I just practice. After school, before school, most people didn't even see me on the playground. Yeah, man, that's where I lived. That's where I used to school people on the court, man. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest challenge was rejection to a music college I wanted to go to. You get hit once and it's cool. You get hit twice, it really shakes your world and where do you stand? You know, it questioned a lot, was I good enough? Forces you to land at a crossroad. Do you stay down or do you try and get back up again? The more you are challenged, the more you grow, the more you excel. As long as I've been playing drums, I've kind of always, whether it's like singing voice notes into my phone, I've always kind of composed. Drumming kind of took the forefront because that was my way in. Production, the composition, drumming all started to kind of merge together. Yeah, 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 that's it. 99% of the time, it is a part of me. I'm gonna jump on drums quickly, keep that going. I'm not trying to repeat successes or failures, I'm just trying to be the best I can be. I had to decide really, like, what am I in this for? I loved music, I loved playing the drums. Where I was like, this is what I want to do, and I'm going to figure out a way to make this work. Whether it's a BBC show or certain awards. Yeah, I've achieved a lot more than I set out to achieve. Yes, Ty, you know, you know what I was going to say, innit? <laughs> He's very reserved, even when he got his first mobile. The spirits didn't even know. We'll see a lot more from him. I know you will get there eventually. <laughs> Our local legend, yeah? It's the least I can do for you, sir. <laughs> Very least, sir. For me, there's always, like, something more where I am at. How do I, in everything I'm now trying to expand, whether that's music, whether that's record, whether that's touring, how does that affect the greater good and sort of help the next Moses or somebody else in my position somewhere. Do you know what I mean? I think no success is built on an easy ride. Knowing what I know now, it's like, it's important. It's important to go through those things because they build character, they build resilience, they build excellence.